Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? How are you doing? This is Samosa the Gwee, aka the village boy himself. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, just consider subscribing. If you've been coming back to watch my videos, congratulations. <laughs> welcome. Hey, we share things to do with village life, food, culture, travel, and so much more. So, welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. And uh, today I'm coming live and clear from my village in coastal Kenya, Africa. Just look at this. Young and tender passion fruit. Young and tender passion fruit. Very, very beautiful. Just look at it. I can't wait to have the fruits, passion fruits. Very, very sweet. So I'm coming live and clear from my village in coastal Kenya, Africa. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, my house right there. I have my parents' house here, and yeah, I have my brother's house here. So this is what I want to tell you guys. This is what I want to show you guys something very very beautiful and how we are blessed it's like a blessing to have something like this so you can tell by just the look this house this house was built using some just poles just look look very close some poles you can guess the tree or uh, which this pole came from and you can guess the roofing materials where the material came from which tree maybe you can guess guys you can guess 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 and the poles used to build you can just tell me in the comment section below you can guess the tree where this kind of uh, poles or maybe timber comes from just look at this you can guess where this type of fire would come from because you can use this as firewood you can use this for to build a house look at them also is the same same tree you can guess guys in the comment section below uh, which tree is this <laughs> a very very important tree here in coastal kenya and it has so many uses people just benefit from all around the tree and this tree is none other than uh -huh. it's none other than this one here a coconut a coconut tree guys look at it this is the tree I was talking about the coconut tree the coconut tree which everything in it has a use and is very very important right from the stem you can use it as a firewood you can use it to prepare timber for building you can use it so you can use it as a firewood you can use it as a timber for building and also we have the fruits the coconut fruits whereby you can use the fruits for cooking maybe soups and also you can use the fruits for preparing coconut oil and also you can use the coconut leaves for roofing materials like that look at the roofing material there at this house it's coconut leaves very very beautiful and it's a very it's a it's a great helper here in coastal Kenya. So the leaves you can the, the leaves also you can prepare brooms for compound, uh, sweeping the compound. Also, the, the the outer shell, the outer spongy shell of the coconut you can use it. Uh, it's used for making mattresses. The inner hard shell. It's used, you can use it as a cup for like for drinking water and maybe or maybe drinking soups. It's very, very useful. And the, 
this one is also these ones you can use it as a firewood something like this you can use it as a firewood and also the coconut leaves coconut leaves you can uh, they are used in the fishing industry they are used to make like the nets for fishing so everything about this tree everything about this tree is very very useful and we are happy for it because here in coastal kenya it's like a natural resource you don't need to plant them they just grow you don't need to plant them they just grow so you can see them everywhere let me stand somewhere here so that you can see just look at that it's like a forest yeah everywhere so this tree is very is everywhere in the here in the village in coastal kenya africa everywhere everywhere just look at it everywhere and it's it's like a help a natural helper here in the village very many uses very many it's like it's like everything here in the village because from the chairs you have, you've seen the chair from the timber of that tree from the timber of the coconut tree the chair here you can see the house the poles the roofing material the supporting poles so like everything the brooms we use here in the village you can see right here So we've used the coconut juice to, uh, for soup cooking uh, during lunch time. So it's like we use coconut products every day. Coconut products everywhere. You cannot escape. That's why I'm saying like God has a purpose and a reason for placing a natural resource in every corner of this earth. So there is nothing like a poor place. There is nothing like a poor place. Everywhere they have its only and unique, unique resource, which if you can use it properly, it can be of benefit to you and your people. So for us here in coastal Kenya, we have the coconut tree. And maybe if you go to Meru here in Kenya, we will find the mira, the cut uh, for chewing. And also, if you go to like somewhere like Kitale, that is the maize, uh, because of the, the way that they are supposed maize growing. If you go to like Limuru, that is the tea plantations. So what I'm saying is that there is nothing like a poor place. There is nothing like a poor place. The poverty of an area is determined by the mindset of the people living in that area. So if you change uh, minds, your mindset to be a positive, to see like, to utilize the natural resources given by God, very, very natural. You can do wonders, you can do anything you want and you can make your life prosper and maybe that of other people in that place so don't complain just work uh be creative and do whatever thing it's need to be done uh and you will improve and you see changes in your life so this is our natural resource and as i've told you that it is everywhere as you can see it's like the forest here in the village so comment in the comment section below let me know what you think about this video now don't forget to subscribe Subscribe because that is the only way to support your boy, village boy, here in Kenya, Africa. And without much ado, I will say it's a bye for now. Till next video, bye.